Hi guys, I have another um, handbag here to review. So this is another vintage um, Celine Macadam handbag. And this is um, very popular again uh, because of the um, Triumph or Triumphe pattern. And this is obviously a vintage bag. So I bought this um, online and um, of all the macadam, macadam handbags that um, I've owned in this pattern, this is the most unique because this is in a tote, um, tote style. And uh, there are actually rings there, not intended for <clears throat> crossbody straps, but you can actually add uh, any crossbody um, strap if you want for ease and comfort. So this is uh, the um, typical macadam color pattern which is in dark brown they actually have it in different colors they also have an off-white they have it in white and um, i've seen them in uh, other color variations too and of course um, with a variation of uh, materials as well but uh, this one as you can see it's still in a pretty, pretty good shape. What I like about a vintage Celine is that the leather quality is uh, really, really there. It's really, really superior. There is just a bit of tarnishing on the um, metal or the hardware, but you can actually have that uh, polished if you want to, but uh, it doesn't uh, bother me at all. The most... Um, impressive metal hardware on a handbag for me uh, belongs to Cartier. <laughs> That's probably because of course um, they specialize, they're more um, popularly known in the jewelry um, business or jewelry realm. So this is it, I would say this is like um, a business or a like an office type of bag. Um, this is medium, medium size, but it holds a lot. Okay, so let's um, first look at the measurements. I'm in a different spot this time, guys, because uh, my usual spot, which is our dining table, is currently occupied by my 3000 pieces jigsaw puzzle. So I'm still in the process of building that. Then after that, I'm going to trim down to just 1000. It's just a pain in the butt because it occupies the whole space, <laughs> the whole dining table. All right, so I really don't know how to do this. Okay, so closer look, this is it. The measurements on this bag, <clears throat> it's um 11 inches wide. nine or 9.5 inches in height and the width is uh, basically four point or four to five inches width this bag can expand and as you can see this has aged a lot there are um minor uh, spots but the patina is really great it's uh very uh, consistent all throughout the bag because <clears throat> in some bags sometimes the patina would just be showing on the handles where it's mostly handled or mostly um, used where there's friction but this one it's um, like consistent color all throughout so uh, it has a smooth finish now because as they age they become smoother and uh, shinier I really like this patina and oh geez it has like a, um an envelope i mean an accordion type of um of seaming of seam here <clears throat> look at that and of course it has lost its shape but uh it contours to whatever you stuff inside the bag. And the handle is this. 
the handle is this which is still in good condition and as you can see the um, hardware here or the rings provide uh, you know extra place <clears throat> I would say uh, it doesn't have a specific um, ring for the straps but you can actually um, add anything here so this could be a versatile bag and uh, this is the um i really don't know what this is for maybe it's to lock it but i'm i don't see any lock so i think it's just a hanging charm so there you go what an irony guys because i'm featuring a vintage celine and just look at that the uniformity of the stitches and by the way if you watch my channel i mean my previous video which was a Triumph Falco, where I had um, a rant there against this eBay seller. And uh, we're still trying to fix until now what the problem is because she doesn't have enough funds um, to, um, to refund. She canceled my refund because PayPal said that she doesn't have um, enough funds. So I wrote to the seller. We've been writing back and forth. And she says to me, this is my last reply. She tells me that she did not take the money out. However, because of the eBay mode of payment, they just, I think, removed the charge right away. So I don't know what she's talking about. So she says, of course, if it's missing, then just deposit probably a little bit more. So she says she's not going to do that. She's not going to recharge it. So I am going to um, call uh, service uh, PayPal to step in because um, apparently <coughs> eBay's rule or policy is that you won't get a refund unless the item gets sent to you, which is the item is supposed to be sent to me June 26 because it's uh, apparently coming from China. But I explained to eBay that I asked them not to send it to me anymore because I know it is going to be fake but the eBay person said no we don't have we can't do anything we just have to wait until June 26 to open up a case I'm like whatever uh, I'm not sure guys so <laughs> I'm really disappointed but anyway it said it has a Celine thing here this one is a little bit discolored or um, the polishing has already, you know, you can just see it's really, really well made. And um, there you go. It's pretty, pretty spacious. And I will give you an update on the uh, eBay rant. <laughs> I haven't had any problems with the other items, guys. I would, I'm still waiting for the $435. Um, was it $435? Uh, refund from the same seller. Apparently, she released that because I sent the item back. But the other one that she hasn't sent the item to me yet because I told her not to, it's in dispute, you know. Uh, I mean... I won't be getting the I don't know whenever but anyway I'm going to call PayPal for that and uh, there you go because she blames PayPal okay for apparently taking the the funds out so I don't know what she's talking about so there you go so there's one uh, it's just one big pocket and then one big uh, open pocket here and an interior pocket and yeah I like this bag because uh, you can take this thing out to clean, um, but of course this one you can't. But look at that. I wonder why this has not peeled because it has the same texture as that of a, a vintage Gucci. But anyway, um, they are um, really, really, um, I, I like the quality of um, Celine handbags. So, um, there you go, guys. That's uh, my latest uh, vintage acquisition, which is <clears throat> really, really nice. <laughs> so, there you go. Bye.